Hello friends, welcome back to these videos. In the previous video, we have seen about list. In this video, let's focus on tuples. It is very similar to that of your list, okay, where list was also used to store multiple items in a single variable. Similar to that, tuples are also used in order to store multiple items in a single variable. Right. So, how we had a properties for list like ordered, unchangeable. Here also, tuples are. Let me add one. Let me add one. Uh, this one to you. I'll add a text file. So, what is that? I'm going to add tuples. Tuples are also same, which are used for storing multiple, storing multiple items in a single variable. Okay. So, what are the properties? Number one, it is ordered. I have explained what do you mean by ordered in the previous video. It is unchangeable. Third one is it allows duplicates. Okay, these are the properties. Let's see how do we declare these tuples. Okay. So in order to declare it, I need some name, say example, I will write T-U-P-L-E, tuple 1, okay, which is equal to, in the list, you must have noticed if there was a square braces. Here, I will be using the round braces. Okay. And I will write the whatever I want to store. I am putting the names of cities. As I mentioned, it can allow duplicates. I can enter Hubli twice. Right. When I do this, when I try understanding what is the type of data, type of this, then I can give to you E L E one. What I have to do is I have to say type right. It is showing me tuple. Tuple is a class. Let me show you one more thing, important thing. Say T U P L E 2. What I declare is I have a single item to be stored. I will give like this. Now, what are you expecting? The tuple to cut data type? You are expecting tuple itself. Let's see what you will get. Okay, tuple 1 cut classes. Tuple, the tuple two ka class. Let's see what you will get. See, notice that the tuple two ka case data type is class. It belongs to a string. In case if I want to make it tuple, what I have to do is I will have to add one comma here. Just insert a comma here and rerun it. Let's see what is the data type. See, it is tuple. So, whenever you have single element, okay. So, if you do not put this comma, the entire, it, it belongs to string type. If you put a comma, it gets converted into a tuple. Okay. So, this is one more important thing. Next is, so, does it store only characters? No. Okay. So, I can, I will show you tuple 3, which is equal to, I can store 
numbers okay let's print what is the tuple type of tuple i mean type of tuple 3 right this is also tuple other possibility is i can have multiple type of data types in it tuple 4 which is equal to say i will say this way i will add one more very thing also called okay now let's try printing what is the size of tuple 4 let me run it see all are of tuple types only okay so tuple 1 tuple 2 tuple 3 and tuple 4 okay and there is another possible way to declare tuple okay so which is i can use the constructor i can use the constructor okay so in order to use constructor what i have to do is say suppose tuple 5 i want to declare so simply a round braces okay also will work out otherwise also i can say tuple of then you can say right next i'll try to print this as well step on file okay so tuple when you declare tuple you have to put very important point to be remember i have to use two braces like this tuple of this okay the other type is tuple please try to remember this when you use a constructed tuple to declare the tuple okay you have to use two sets of brackets right hope you have understood the tuples please try out from your end as well okay let me know if you have any problems see you in the next video thank you